Brian from Reefers Almeria Betty's Reef Aquarium. Today's video is a demonstration of fragging. How I actually fragged the uh, trumpet, the candy cane coral, which looked and it still looks like a bouquet of uh, flowers or an actual brain. Um, I'm going to show you and explain um, the actual part that I actually fragged and which is of course as the people that follow me uh, you'll be aware that you know it's in the nine gallon so what section I actually fragged and then uh, what was the process to get it ready uh, to actually put it here on the future 40 and what's been going on so just hold on one second okay and here we are at the nine gallon of course I already fragged the uh, trumpet and I put it back I glued it but I thought I'd show you where I actually did the actual frag if you notice, uh, right there, okay, that's one of the uh, trunks or branch that would come out of all the many, as you see on this coral. That's where I cut off the uh, actual piece. I went ahead and I cut off the piece and then I, I took it and I dipped it. I'm going to show you what, the, uh, what I actually did and why. Hold on. Okay, now uh, after I fragged the little piece which I'm going to show you, the next step that I did is, this is a one gallon bucket. I filled it with half a gallon of the already uh, conditioned water from the nine gallon. So a half a gallon of water and then I put this product where I use it to dip all of my corals, uh, Coral MD by Brightwood Aquatics. It's an excellent product. Worldwide Coral uses it as a matter of fact. So I went ahead, I put that in. You stir it and um, you start to blow it with a turkey baser like between 5 to 15 minutes. I did that and then uh, once that time limit uh, hit the, I'd say like the 12 minute mark, it says not to go over 15 minutes, then I stopped. I got the coral, I rinsed it with salt water and then I went ahead and I, I put it on, on, on the plug. I used the uh, BSI which is the glue that I always use to either attach corals to plugs. You know this is a regular plug. I put a lot of it and I just uh, put the uh, frag on it. I waited like what five or ten minutes. I soaked it and then I introduced it to the Future 40. Now I'm going to go now to the tank and I'm going to show you how it's doing. And there she is in the Fusion 40. Uh, the uh, polyps, uh, when, I, uh, when I did this, they were not as open. Because remember, in this hobby, uh, is something that I have talked about on my previous videos. Uh, no matter if you have an identical two tanks, rocks, sand, water, everything. It's like a human being. Uh, there's always uh, going to be different in uh, parameters. And uh, I mean, from uh, all the readings, you are uh, going to get different parameters. You're going to get different behaviors when it uh, comes to the uh, reaction of one tank to the other. I'm going to give you a quick, fast example. On the 9-gallon, it took about close to, I'd say, one year where I would see uh, coralline algae. Now in this tank, uh, I set it up officially when uh, I would say roughly October. So it's less than one year. And I already, uh, a couple of days ago, I noticed a little spot on the uh, MP10, coralline algae. So you see on this tank, um, when it comes to the behavior compared to the 9, uh, I'm already getting an example of little coralline algae. The same salt, the only thing I changed was that here I use Pukani rocks, on the other one I use Fiji rocks, both were, dry, both were dry rocks, and the same salt, uh, Red Sea Pro. So you see the behavior changes. So due to the fact that that's the uh, case, I didn't want to just go ahead, put the uh, coral here, and then just place it where I'm actually uh, going to place the uh, coral. I decided to put it on, on the sand, on the substrate, to see how it behaves, how it acclimates. And let's say within a few days or a week, then I'll go ahead and I'll set it up where I'm actually going to set it. I'm, I'm going to show you where I'm actually um, thinking of uh, placing the actual coral. 
Okay, so here's where the coral is, and then for now, let it get acclimate more, and then I'm going to show you where I'm going to place it. All the way to the other side of the tank. Okay, right over here. Let me show you. Right there. Right there. Right there is where I'm planning on um, placing the uh, trumpet. So if I got like a complete focus of the tank, it would be right there. Right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it uh, interesting, educational, hit the thumbs up. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, have a reefing. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.